Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, floggers. Um, ever since I read the Gore books, I have just had a love affair with floggers. And um, one of the things I've learned is Florentine, which is an absolutely beautiful way of flogging. Um, I'm going to start out not so much with a flogger, it's going to be a little different to start. I actually see a couple of spoons, not floggers. Um, but there's a reason for that, and you'll understand. Now, you know the basic motion of a flogger, even a single flogger, is a figure eight. So you want to practice both right arm and left arm in that figure eight. Especially practice with your weaker arm. If you're right handed, that would be your left hand. If you're left hand, that's going to be your right arm. So you want to work at that. Now, when you're learning to do, especially Florentine, what you're going to do is you're going to want to keep your hands, your arms, to your side, tight to your side. We're going to start out single with the figure eight, work the figure eight, and then you want to work in your second. And the reason for this, if you try doing this with a flogger with tails flying around for the first time, you are going to have a mess on your hand, guaranteed. This way, it gives you something solid to work with. It gives you the you want to work the muscle memory. You want to get the muscle memory of this in. Now you notice my right hand, which is my alpha hand, is always on top. You want your alpha hand on top of this. So you want to work that like so. And then and you, you work one in, one out, but you want to practice. Arms tight to your side. Okay? Now even when you're ready to start with a flogger, I started small. I have a pair of kind of nine tails that I started with, and I'll show you those in a second right here. Okay, here we go, a little cat. Now the same thing, when, when you're practicing, even once you go, make sure you keep those arms in tight. You want to start with one, you want to get your motion, you want to get that figure eight motion, okay, and then you work in. that figure eight going. And you're doing it with the two. Now again, once you start practicing with real floggers, you want to start out with pillows. Yeah, you, you want to get those pillows to submit before you actually try this on somebody. Um, practice, practice, practice. Okay. I know a few of you may be wondering why I'm wearing half gloves doing this. And I will explain that and it will become evident in a moment. And so you can see how this works. And yes, I'm, I'm kind of switching my hands up. I've been doing this for a little while. So yeah, I do switch my hands up. But you generally want to keep that alpha hand on top. And get that motion. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you a little bigger flogger doing this, and, and this is the reason for the gloves. These are wooden handle floggers. They're almost a little too big for this, but the wooden handle, the reason I wear the leather gloves, is with the wood, your hands can become sweaty, and in an open palm, they can slip. The leather, you know your hands are sweating, the leather still grips the wooden handle. So again, arms to your side. Figure eight. Always start out with figure eight. Start out with your alpha hand. And then work in the second. Yes, it does happen. Again, practice, practice, practice. And like I say, these are just a little big for this. So, just to show you that nothing is perfect, things happen. Yep, tails get caught. And you can switch up hands. Switch them in, out. There we go. 
Anyway, the basic tenet, start with something solid, uh, crops would work. The wooden spoons like I showed you. Hands tight, arms tight to your waist, to your side. Start out with one, working one arm, figure eight. Practice your other arm, figure eight. Get that muscle memory down. And then bring it all together. Happy flogging!